what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in this video we're gonna keep covering html forms and more specifically we're gonna cover drop down list box and again while the rest of the html forms the exactly the same they were actually within the form element so the same would be they with a drop down list box so we go within our form element over here and we would i'm, I'm going to create a paragraph which would say what uh let's say what device do you listen your music on right what device over here do you listen uh, to music on so over here next thing I would want to do is I would want to create a select element and it would have the attribute name and the name obviously would be the same for all my select for all my drop down list box over here so I would create a name and I'm just gonna say that this is gonna be equal to devices over here so I'm gonna close it out and now all the options are gonna be within my select element and you can see that this is my drop down list box so I'm just gonna start with the first one and the option and uh, this is gonna be my element that I would need to create I would need to create a option element and I would have to set the value over here and the value is, is gonna be obviously again connected to what option i'm going to give so let's say in this case i'm just going to create ipod and you can see that right now my first uh, on my list box is actually ipod now i'm just going to copy this two more times and let's say that i'm going to say that this is going to be equal to radio and you can see how it is very similar to how we were working with check boxes and radio boxes so again the value is radio and i'm give it radio so now when I open it up, you can see that I have radio and iPod. So the last thing as I would need to do is I would actually need to change this one over here. And I'm going to say that it's computer. And over here, I'm going to write also computer. So now I have three of them. I have iPod, I have radio, and I have a computer over here. And again, I can check and once i check one of them it's pretty much works the same as with the radio button that you can select only one of them uh, this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video